I just got access to Copilot from GitHub. It's this new feature where the AI predicts the functions that you're supposed to write and it understands multiple different languages. I'm about to test out JavaScript and then we're gonna do something different. So here's a JavaScript file, index.js. I'm gonna just type a comment here, calculate the distance between two points. That's what it thinks I wanna calculate. Let's do it, why not? Without me even typing the name of the function, it knows based on the comment what I wanna calculate. That is cool, because that's a function that I don't know off the top of my head. I probably could think about it, but hopefully it's correct. Okay, you might have already seen examples of this. This is pretty freaking cool. But let's see if it can do something else. Something that, well, maybe it's not designed to do. I'm gonna create a new file called 10xdeveloper.md. It's a markdown file. And let's see if I could just start typing stuff. Uh, okay, so heading, I'm a, hmm, 10x developer. It knows, look at that, I'm a 10x developer. Okay, uh, so it can do the heading after I write 10x, big deal, right? Let's see. Hello, world. <laughs> I'm a, hmm, 10x, is it done predicting my text? Ah, look at that. It took a little while to come up with this, but it says I'm a 10x developer. I love programming. I love to writing, I love writing code. I love making things. I love working with people. I love working with code. I love working with people. I love working with code. I love working with people. Oh, okay, well, it's it's really excited about working with people and loving to write code. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this up right over here. I love programming. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna kick things off in a new direction here. This is what made me start learning to program. This is like a playing ad lib with friends, but instead with an AI. This is pretty interesting, especially the interactive aspect of this. I grew up programming on a, come on. I know you're thinking, programming on a computer. <laughs> okay, and then it filled in the rest. I love the computer, I love programming. I love the computer, I love programming. And it keeps going like that. <laughs> All right, well, that's interesting. Let me tell you why, why? I love the computer. We're gonna go into a little different direction here. Let me tell you why. When I was young, I picked up Python and fell in love with its simplicity. It came in handy when I... Now it's trying to figure out what it's gonna do. It came in handy when I was learning how to program. I was able to learn how to program without any help. So pretty limited what it can generate here. I'm gonna cut it off right over there. Let's see what else I can write here. I'm gonna start a new paragraph. My daily job involves a lot of programming. I have to write a lot of code. I have to write a lot of code to create website. I have to write a lot of code to create a mobile app. I have to write a lot of code to create a website that is used by millions of people. And I have to write a lot of code to create a mobile app that is used by millions of people. And uh, and then it starts repeating again. Seems like, a, I don't know, maybe a child that's learning how to talk and building up the sentence one word at a time. Pretty cool stuff. Now maybe I'm not using it to its fullest potential. And maybe it needs more information fed to it. So I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna head over here to dev.to and uh, I don't know, let's see, React. Everything you need to know about JavaScript destructuring. Let's take a look at that. These aren't really opinion pieces, are they? I'm gonna search for 10x developer. Here's one by Fyodor. Ninja versus Rockstar versus 10x developer. Interesting, okay, so here we have a little bit of a paragraph. I'm gonna copy this and this is an article on November 6th by Fyodor available on dev.to. Hopefully I won't get dinged for copying this, but I am giving credit to the author. And I'm gonna paste it right here and see if this gives any more information to the algorithm to write more for me. Let's go back to the content that the author wrote, which starts right over here. 
and I'm going to see if the algorithm will generate anything else based on the information it has from the previous paragraph. I wish there was a way to kind of see what's going on with this thing. If it's working, if it's thinking, what it's thinking, what the progress is, but right now there isn't any. Okay, so I paused right there. I took away the final period of that first paragraph and then added, and I'm planning to enrich the user experience for this platform with gamification and analytics. I'm working on simple open source learning platform for developer teams, which is a sentence that it ripped off from the beginning of the paragraph. And then it continues on just basically repeating that same paragraph. The only thing that it added that was new is and analytics. Okay, particularly I consider adding different levels for stage of progress with learning paths and making them funny and memorable, comma. Let's see if it fills anything else so the user can feel like they're on a journey. I want to make the learning paths fun and interesting. Huh, that's actually kind of cool because that's not anywhere in the previous paragraph. So it filled that information in and then it keeps going. The first thing that came to my mind was the set of notorious metaphors developers used in their resumes and personal websites. The three most famous are Ninja, Rockstar and 10X Developer. Let's see if I write the four most famous are Ninja, Rockstar, 10X Developer, and let's see what it comes up with. And the 10X symbol. I want to use the same metaphors in my learning platform. Huh, this is really kind of crazy. I mean, where is it coming up with this stuff? I have no idea, but it's, it's generating text. It seems to make sense. If you really pay attention, it doesn't really make sense. So I don't think that GitHub's Copilot is designed for this, but it is built on GPT-3, which does have language recognition, language generation abilities. Pretty cool technology. I'm gonna actually try building something with this and uh, seeing how well it does with actual code. It's a little bit early on, I haven't gotten that far yet, but uh, I wanna test it out. Let me know down below in the comments if you are interested in seeing a particular type of project. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day.